guys. Today we got a iPhone 6s. It came to us for no back lot. After looking over the phone a little bit, right now I've already kind of started diagnosing it and I thought it was a pretty interesting one so I thought I'd stop what I was doing and kind of come back to the start and kind of show you guys how I'm going to figure out what's wrong with this one. Um, whenever you try to cut it on they are correct, it has no backlight, but it also has no image. In order to get backlight, you, you must have image. So, if we don't have image, we'll never have backlight. So this particular phone, uh, after I checked it, saying it didn't have image, I didn't really know if I had power, so I hooked up to my DC power supply and I did have power. Um, one of the other things I did, which again, probably wasn't necessary, as I checked the backlight filter just to make sure we were safe uh, and the backlight circuit wasn't blown and I'll make sure I'm in view here and check this pin up to this filter and this filter is good so right now since we don't have image I want to say the backlight circuit is good and the next thing I started doing is just checking all of the pins on the FPC connector to see if I had any odd pins that were grounded. And the first one checked good, and the check one, second one checked bad. And the second one goes to PPE 5.7, which goes to Chestnut, and it should not be grounded. So from there, I started checking uh, the filter on it, and the filter is grounded. And what I've seen on, on these 6S, more so than I have on any other phone, is uh, shorty caps on the backlight circuit. So what I did from there was hook my DC power supply up to the filter for PP 5.7, which is this filter here. This filter right here is, uh, goes to the second pin here, which again is for PP 5.7. And I use a jumper, hooked that up to my DC power supply. I've got it on four volts, two amps. And you should be able to hear my DC power supply ramp up. Uh, meaning we do have a short to ground, which we already knew. And then, just put some free spray. There's a lot of these caps right here. Um, uh, there's several, I think four caps up here that go to this line. And I just put a little bit of free spray on it and see if I could see which one may have been causing the issue. You could probably use alcohol or acetone the same way. But this filter here, I mean this cap right here, looks to me like it's shorted. Right there you can see it. So that looks to be what the issue is going to be with this phone, so uh, I'm going to just knock that thing off. Okay, our short is gone now. I may have done some damage to those pads, huh? Okay, but anyway. Let's our screen back up and see if we have image and backlight now. We got a dead battery is what we got. Let's hook it up 
DC power supply. But you can see we did have an image back, which is what we were missing to start with. And I've seen several of the uh, 6S actually have uh, bad capacitors. I'm going to pause this video for just a second if somebody came in. Alright, let's hook this thing up to DC power supply. Just make sure everything's. Looks like it's going to work. I'm going to pull a cap back off of a parts board here I got and then uh, put back on it if this looks like it solves the issue and it looks like I may have done some damage to those pads and I have to end up jumping my capacitor. Come on phone. that fixed that issue. Let's go back and see what we do up here to this pads. Yeah, I tore that pad off. A lot of people want to put these capacitors back and I don't know really if it's really required but I like to put them back the same way they, they came from the factory This is the ground side of the cap here. Can't really see it, I got so much flux in it. I think it connects to this cap. W and see if that, that is in fact where that cap goes. Actually, we just need to jump off of this capacitor over the ground with our other capacitor. Now what I've got on my tweezers. Well, 
sit all under here. Here's some jumper wire and jump off that other cap. And this thing be back like it was. Make sure we don't have any shorts here. Alright, so that looks good. <clears throat> Let's clean that up just a bit. It probably wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of uh, uh, coating over top of that. Yeah. That's the positive side. It's exposed. Give me just a second to put this under UV light. Yeah right, guys, we're back. Um, I put a little solder mask on this area I repaired here. Put it under ultraviolet light. Allowed that to cure. Also, uh, while I was doing that, I let the battery charge a little bit. So, hopefully this thing will power up like it should this time. I'm not sure what makes those little caps go bad. I'm not sure if it's drops, um, if they just go bad on their own or what. But uh, that is what was wrong with this phone. So we'll assemble it, send it back to the customer. Thanks for watching, guys.